Chief Magistrate Adiola Olatubosu on Wednesday dismissed an application by the Nigeria Police Force seeking to arraign Afrobeat singer Sheon Kuti over an alleged assault of a police officer. She adjourned hearing to July the 3rd to await a legal advice from the Office of the Directorate of uh, Public Prosecutions on the matter. We have details in this report. Sheon Kuti came to the Chief Magistrate's Court in Sabu Yaba after he was released on bail on Tuesday. He had been in detention at the State Criminal Investigative Department, Banti, since May the 15th. At the resumed hearing, police counsel Cyril Ejiofo had sought the leave of court to arraign the singer, having preferred a charge against him. But senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falano, representing the defendant, urged the court to dismiss the application, accusing the police of disobeying subsisting orders of court. Last week, this same court had delivered two rulings, ordering the police to duplicate the case file and forward it to the office of the DPP at the Lagos Ministry of Justice for an advice on whether to prosecute the case. The court also said the police cannot investigate and prosecute the matter to avoid the perception of bias. In response to the senior lawyer's arguments, the police counsel urged the court to dismiss the objection, saying that Section 23 of the Police Act 2020 empowers them to prosecute cases. The police counsel urged the court to dismiss the objection, saying that Section 23 of the Police Act 2020 empowers them to prosecute cases before any court in Nigeria, subject to the powers of the Attorney General to take over any case. But he added that the police cannot wait for the state government, having already sent the case file to them. In her ruling, the chief magistrate, having issued the previous orders, insisted on awaiting the DPP's advice before proceeding with the case. The investigation has been completed. And that's why we are pleaded with the police at the highest of, uh, level. Send this file to the DPP so that Shem uh, Kuti uh, have his day in court. That, that's our position. We cannot, at my level, right, uh, exploit any technicalities to prevent the trial of anybody. The courtroom was packed full. Many observers applauded the court's decision, but the court frowned at the applause and threatened to send those at the gallery out. Shion Kuti, who was in the dock throughout the proceedings, was also spotted jubilating over the development and turned to look at his wife, who was seated earning another warning from the court. Kemi Foladeyemo, TVC News, Lagos.